Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to a new video. So as part of today's video, we will learn how to import CSV file in Jira. Uh, this is in continuation of uh, the very first video we saw on import CSV file in Jira. So today we will understand uh, how we can import a CSV file that also contains an epic and uh, it contains some user stories which are having a link to the existing epic and also user story with the story points. So slightly we will try to understand uh, that, you know, if uh, that's the kind of a complexity involved, how we can import that CSV file in Jira. So let us start. So I'm, I'm sharing my Jira instance where I have uh, created some sample projects. So we are going to use the same project that we used earlier as part of the CSV import in Jira part one video. So this project is my scrum 25. So if I open this one, so uh, we can see in the backlog, we have uh, three user story which are tagged with the sprint four. We have nothing in the product backlog. If you look at the list view, so our list view uh, contains some user story which are already done and there are some user stories. Uh, there are three user stories, the user login, forgot username, forgot password. And uh, we also have an epic which is basically uh, we can bring the mouse to this icon, the type, and we can see this is an epic which is user management and the key is MYS59. So now let's uh, have a look at the CSV file that we want to take as an example for today's video. So let me open the Excel file. So this is our Excel. So uh, this is what we want to import. So we want to import a new epic, basically online payments. That's the epic name. Uh, we have the summary as online payments and description as online payments epic. Issue type is epic and uh, rest of the things are status, created, date and story points for epic is uh, empty. And we are using MYS59. So this is a uh, epic link for an existing epic. So I mean, if, if you guys can see, MYS59 is the epic key for the existing epic named user management so what we want to do as part of the csv file is uh, we are saying okay we need to create two user stories as child of uh, mys59 so this is what we have used we have used a field called epic link so basically this csv file contains some header and remember like you know for the epic link we have used the epic space link as a column name so these two are the uh, user story which will be created as part of uh, this particular epic 59 and this online payments is a new epic which is going to be created and these two user stories will be created uh, uh, not part of any of the epic and also we are using the story points so uh, let's see how uh, these get uh, uh, you know imported so the file name is import stories in jira.csv i have saved this one and uh, in order to import what will you have what we will have to do is we have to click on the issues and uh, we can click on this uh, three dots and import issues from csv now what we will have to do is we have to select the file we say import stories in jira and we click on the next Now here we have to select the project. So we are selecting my scrum 25. We go to the next. So in this screen, we will have to do the mapping of the field. So uh, at least one field mapping is required. It says like, please note a Jira summary field mapping is required to enable import. So we are saying summary here and we are saying summary is mapped with the uh, summary here. But I mean, if you look at other fields, how we can be ensured that, you know, whether Epic Link and other fields will be mapped as per the CSV file. So we will have to see, do we have any representation for the Epic Link uh, in the CSV file with the Jira field? So if you go here, we are not able to find any of the thing related with the Epic Link. Similarly, if you look at the Epic name, we do not have any of the field in Jira, which is mapped with the Epic name. So if we try to import this file, we will not get any uh epic link and epic name uh being imported we will face some issues so uh what we will have to do with that is uh i mean if we go back to our project and we say this my scrum 25 is the project that we were using and if we look at the three dots so what we can do is we can click on the project settings and uh here on the left side we see the issues 
and we click on the field so in order to create the epic name and epic link mapping enabled in the mapping screen what we will have to do is we have to click on this uh, default field configuration edit so once i click on the edit we can see uh let's try to search for the epic so we can see this epic link is there currently it is locked there are no screens so if i click on the screen uh let's try to select everything which is here and click on update similarly for the epic name we will do the same thing we click on the screen So basically what we are doing is we are saying associate field epic name to the screen so basically in the mapping field we were not getting the epic name and epic link so we are enabling that uh, uh, field as part of the mapping screen similarly we will also see a uh, story point whether a story point uh, is also in, the screens are selected for the story point so there is nothing currently so we go back to the screen and we select this uh, all the screens and we say update so now we have done the screen selection for or the uh, field configuration for the story point epic name and epic link now uh, if we try to refresh this one uh, where we were doing the import of the csv file and we were trying to select epic link so now we can see the epic link is coming so we are saying you know map the epic link epic link from the csv with the epic link at the jira similarly epic name is mapped with the epic name and uh, the priority is mapped with the uh, we can select from here the priority uh, issue type is mapped with this issue type and similarly story points is mapped with the story points which we have enabled in the mapping screen. Similarly, summary is mapped with the summary. Let's see, we have anything left. We have description. Description is mapped with the description. Uh, we have a status. Let's see whether we have the status here. We do not have the status, so we will keep it as it is. Okay, so let's click on the next. So uh, now it is saying Jira will automatically map all field values from uh, for you wherever possible. If you would like to individually map field values, return to the previous screen and select the checkbox next to the relevant field. So what we will do is now is we will validate our CSV file. So we have clicked on validate. So it is currently checking. So it says your validation is successful. So it says like five issues will be created correctly. Now we will click on the begin import to start the import process. So it says five issues imported successfully. Let's click on the detailed log. So these are the five ones, MY 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Those five issues have been created. And if you look at our CSV file, so we have these five. So we have one, one epic, we had two user stories, and we also have two child user story for existing epic. So let's see whether how this data gets imported. Uh, what we can do is we can again go back to the project and we can click on the list view so here we can see uh, we have online payments that has been created as an epic we have the debit card credit card the two user stories has been created we also have user management the existing epic if we expand this one so we are getting uh, these two child stories as part of this epic. So I think the data looks good. If we go back to the backlog view as well, so we can see, uh, yeah. So this is how we have, we have uh, the online payments using debit card. And remember like, you know, this has been tagged as five story points. So we can see that, you know, story points are also getting uh, uh, imported successfully. Online payment using debit card. The dev environment setup is of five and test environment setup is of two. So let's go back. So we have dev, dev environment as five, test environment as two, and these two are part of the user management. And how we link them is using the, this particular key. 
So we used MYR59 as an existing epic link. And we said, okay, let's create these two user studio as part of these epic links. So this is how it is. Uh, uh, it has been created. So the data, the data looks good. And if we look at the epic view, so we can see that you know we have two epic. MYS59 is the existing epic, and online payments is the epic that we have created using the this one uh, online payments link. So. Uh, this is how we will have to do i mean so as part of today's video we'll learn like you know how we can import a csv file which contains a new epic new set of user story also some new user story which are mapped with the existing epic so i hope you guys like today's video and if you are new to the channel please do share and subscribe thank you